DC here. Hi, guys and gals. Well, I hope you're all well. It is Sunday early afternoon. It's kind of a beer vlog. For those of you who are wondering, Superbock is a Portuguese beer. Um, over here in Switzerland, we've got a quite large Portuguese community. And I found out that since I'm here that the Portuguese, along with the Irish, I guess, and the Germans, are like the biggest beer drinkers in the world. Yeah. And you have Sagres, the Superbock, uh, what is it, San Miguel, a few, something like that. And they're pretty cheap, actually, in the sense of if you compare with the price of Swiss beer. But again, uh, everything is cheap compared to Swiss prices. Well, actually, that's not true. Beer is... Uh, is quite cheap in Switzerland, but this is a uh, this is a pretty good beer actually. It's not bad. I mean, it's a it's a standard beer. It's a lager, but of the Portuguese beers, it's the one that I prefer. Anyway, so much for beer. I mean, uh, but like I say, it's it's amusing because on on Sunday mornings, so when all us good citizens <laughs> are off to church, you pass in front of the. Portuguese uh, convenience stores because there's quite a few of them over here and they're all actually they're all actually fronts for bars it's quite amusing there are they are really convenience stores but there's a there, there's a bar in every one of them and on Sunday morning I think all the Portuguese women go to church and all the Portuguese men except for the bar lady uh, they go to one of these convenience stores and drink beer all Sunday morning. And you can go around town. We've got quite a few of these little Portuguese stores. And they all have their regulars. And it is quite amusing. I mean, in the sense that you... They're there. It's part of the habits, it seems. It really is. And uh, so, yeah, like I say, Sunday Sunday morning, the ladies pray for their husband's souls while they're drinking it away. Yeah. <laughs> so I, here I am sitting now, by the way, on Sunday afternoon. Uh, drinking away. <laughs> yeah. It's hot again. I'm sitting under the... Uh, I'm sitting in the shade under the walnut tree. And uh, it's... I find it's really pretty good. I mean, this... Everything that you see here has grown this year. So all this shade part. And we trim it off because otherwise it just goes wild in the, in the autumn and fall or early winter months. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really incredible tree uh, as far as vitality goes and everything. You know. uh, as far as the nuts go, well, it's actually coming along well because this is not an old tree. But the birds, the birds love it. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm in my barbecue corner so yeah it's, it's a, probably as close to a man cave or man grotto probably one would say and depending on where you are uh this period of time yeah i started something this week i started doing live spanish lessons i think i talked about that the last time yeah i did i didn't i um so it's zoom there's like five or six people. Usually I think it's like six people included when you include the teacher. It says six, but I think actually what they really mean is six with the teacher. And it is, uh, it's quite a bit of fun actually. Uh, I've had three classes up to now, three different teachers. The first class was quite amusing. The teacher was, uh, it was a person who was living in, a Spanish person, but living in Northern Germany. Uh, I was in Switzerland. One person was in China, one person was in, let me see now, one was in China, one was in, in Tunisia, the other one, two were, one was in Colorado, one was in California, and the last time uh, I did it, it was like one person was in Spain, one person was on some island somewhere, uh, because it is, uh, well, these, these courses are for people I'm following it with Babel. And they're for all over the world. Well, you've got courses at any time of the day. And I had taken one at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to do that again, though, because it's really very early to 
star class, put it that way. But uh, that's probably why we had somebody from China and somebody from California. It was just the right time, I suppose. Anyway, it was, it was fun. And uh, sometimes you if, you, if you've used Zoom on in an academic way or sometimes they've got what they call breakout rooms so with the breakout rooms like you can have people that go in and have their mini meetings and then come back to the main to the main room and so we would do classes like that where the, the teacher would separate us into small groups and we'd work together in a breakout room and then come back and discuss that was one teacher was like that the other one was more of a standard class but always asking people and each in their turn we'd have like a curricula and so on and the, excuse me i've got to say it's it was overall quite positive yeah i say overall because it, being different people every time uh, you can get the same teachers again if you because you can choose your teachers and so on you can't choose your students, but the students are okay. I have to say up to now, I have not had anyone who I would consider, you know, a jerk or what, uh, or somebody who would take over. <clears throat> so it's, um, it's an amusing concept. Will it make me speak faster? Well, maybe. I say maybe because the oral part is obligatory. You've just got to kind of go along. The first teacher did not, men did not say one word of English. The second teacher, every now and then, would just if she noticed that people didn't seem to understand like one word, she might say a word. She would not say a full sentence. She'd just say a word and then go on and keep on in Spanish. And the third teacher was very similar, actually, in that respect. The third teacher was, though, very chatty. And uh, I, I liked her personality, but as far as a teacher went, she was talking all the time and not teaching all that much. But it wasn't bad because the fact that she was talking all the time made that you could, you know, you could hear and understand and so on. So anyway, that's a little bit the way it is uh, right now and that Spanish stuff. So amusing. I mean, it's kind of like a, a retirement goal. I guess a lot of people do different things when they get retired and I'm doing that, you know. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to bore you much longer today. I'm just going to finish off in the in the shade over here because it's like 29 degrees celsius i don't think we're gonna get 30 but 29 is already pretty hot and uh, just kind of edge out here i think yeah so that'll be it so let me see try not to pour this beer all over me the dc signing off take care everybody and have a great sunday Bye bye